Welcome to the new series Your Colors by Pomps of Colors where you choose the colors for my canvas. For this month my Instagram family has chosen these four colors green, black, maroon and red. At the beginning I felt like it was a challenge and I was reminded of the purpose of this series. It should be a challenge. So this is perfect. I have to combine all of them to create something that is beautiful. So the rule for this series is that if I am painting some landscape or some scenery, I have to use these four colors chosen by my Instagram family. And if I am writing a calligraphy, the background should include all the four colors. Last time I made sure all the four colors are included in the background and I chose white, off-white for calligraphy. But this time I'm going to write the calligraphy in green or you know like I'm not adding any extra color just going to stick with these four colors. Since the background color is very dark, I have used crayon on the back of this paper, green color crayon, and this made tracing process very easy. The verse I have chosen for today is Ainama Zara'akallahu Azhir, which means wherever Allah plants you bloom. Lotus is one of the beautiful examples for this. It can grow in the mud, but it is a beautiful flower beaming with its colors, like it has vibrant colors. So just like that, beautiful people can emerge and bloom in most uncertain of situations. Sometimes we may feel a certain trial is too much for us or it is making us fall apart, taking the best out of us. But sometimes they come to us to bring out the best in us. This is kind of beautiful that most of us aren't aware of our inner strength. So when a trial comes, we may panic and we may think that we might never heal from our broken heart. But eventually Allah brings out the inner strength that had been hiding for so long. There is a verse in Quran which says لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها which means Allah does not place a burden on anyone more than they could bear. The breakage of hard suffering and pain are often perceived as negative things but they have some positive elements in them. They come to us only to bring the best in us. And I won't say that it's easy. For a seedling to sprout, the seed should cleave into two. That's a must. And eventually, if the seedling gets enough water and sunlight, it will pave ways for a beautiful tree to grow. Likewise, people, when their hearts are broken or when they are struck with something really tough as a trial, if we nurture ourselves enough, like, you know, dhikr and whatever that will comfort us, that could be a relaxation exercise or consulting someone you trust, and why not even painting, you know, everything that will help the healing process. Just like that seedling which grows roots underneath and wings above, a broken heart or a calamity will pave ways for us to grow ourselves, grow our strength and become better versions of ourselves. We definitely should try to take care of ourselves in such times and we have to be the first person to be kind to ourselves when we go through trials 
it's okay to cry need to it's okay to take some rest and time and i would say it's okay to feel sad it's okay as we will keep on doing our best and keeping all our trust in allah allah will take care of every other thing he will take care of growing your strength and taking care of you and planning your life ahead he will do every single thing and eventually inshallah allah will reveal to us um the purpose of our trials inshallah every single trial most of the times he sends in trials to benefit us in this world and the next so he will show us he will show us why we face that and why our hearts were broken every single thing will be clear one day for those of you who are in happy phase of life i pray that allah keeps you happy forever and increase your happiness and bless you in much more ways and for those of you who are waiting for a relief to come i pray that allah sends the relief really soon and may he enlighten your heart and may he keep on showering his blessings upon you as you wait for the relief so just imagine what if each of us in this world fought against our odds and bloomed this world would become a garden